Hi, welcome to Curio Tips, the bite-sized tips and hacks for everyday life based on scientific evidence. In this episode, we will see how to cook pulses properly. You know the pulses and lentils, right? These are really important. The beans, for example, are really nutritious. It's full of proteins and fiber. Uh, you know and it's really really good especially here in india we use quite a lot right here in north india yeah and uh, how to cook it properly so that is one of the uh, main problem that many people uh, do have while uh, you know attempting to cook uh, so it doesn't actually cook properly because it's uh, the skin is really thick you know so of course there are so many kinds of pulses and lentils and beans so of course lentils and beans are kind of pulses so here you can see the rajma i love rajma a lot and uh, yellow dal and different kinds of dal but those are not a problem but the, the rajma is really tricky to cook in my experience and as well as the chickpeas especially the brown chickpea you know so it takes time how to cook this kind of beans and pulses so uh, the, the green gram is also not that difficult but especially for these two things and other cowpea allow cowpea with oil and for example in, in kerala style oil and allow to make that so how do you cook it properly so the basically that the issue here is that uh, you know if you look at this kind of uh, rajma for example it has got pectin uh, you know that uh, the the outer covering is known as pectin i mean it's pectin is a soluble fiber it's basically a soluble polysaccharide and pectin when it actually uh, so, uh, it dissolves in water in high heat it turns into a jelly like a substance you know that is what if you cook uh, this kind of uh, pulses in the pressure cooker and if you cool it down then you feel you can see that kind of a jelly right there is nothing but a pectin you know dissolved pectin so you have to actually get this pectin somehow you have to disturb that pectin to to make the skin very easy to go so uh, my method here it's based on science of course uh, you know I, i strongly recommend you the book on uh, you know the the science of good cooking so you know it has got lots of hacks on how to cook it properly right so based on scientific evidence so the idea is that of course we soak it in the water for 12 hours or more right Be- before cooking any of these pulses that we we all do it but the trick here is that we have to instead of uh, soaking in the plain water we should put a little bit of salt in it you know like i uh, i like to put uh, at least 1 gram per uh, few ml you know so 20 ml i uh, put 1 gram so it is something like 5 percentage 5 grams per liter uh, per uh, 100 ml you know so uh, you have to put some uh, salt in it well it's it's it, it's up to you little bit salt is absolutely fine no problem uh, because the idea is that the salt uh, you know salt helps to disintegrate uh, the, the the calcium and magnesium ions inside the pectin molecule and it try to uh, you know it tries to uh, compete with these ions the so, the uh, the chlorine ion of this sodium chloride you know so that is why this helps to uh, to soften the peel while soaking itself right so after soaking for 12 hours in brine that's really important soak it in brine instead of simple cooking in the brine of course we do that right we add salt while cooking but instead of uh, instead of that of course you uh, better add salt while uh you know while soaking itself then while cooking at a pinch of baking soda uh you know that also helps to disintegrate the skin much easier you know so because if you add the soda baking soda you know uh, it actually makes the the you know the uh, atmosphere the, the the fluid little bit alkaline isn't it so alkaline is very good conducive for degradation of polysaccharide there is a science behind it and then my method is to cook for one whistle in the medium flame and then after the whistle has come then i i simply put that into the the lowest flame and i cook for 30 minutes right so this 30 minute is uh, ir- disrespective of how many whistles it will come up but i will cook in a low flame for 30 minutes and then it's done it's perfectly done i can make hummus uh, you know if i'm making the chickpea the white one or i can make a rajma for rajma dal it's going to be really really interesting so this is the idea here you can see that this is a bean uh, you know the skin of the bean contains a pectin molecule and uh, this pectin is a long chain polysaccharide it's water soluble of course and it has got calcium and magnesium ions 
in the in the chains of this uh, polysaccharide and you have to replace this uh, calcium and magnesium with salt in the brine so it's basically sodium and chlorine chlorine will compete with that so it, it kind of disintegrates the pectin structure and this process is so much easier when the media that is basically the water where we are cooking is alkaline and that is the reason while cooking we are adding a pinch of uh, you know the alkali in it pinch of uh, soda in it you know so that way we can actually do this right so thanks for watching i hope this video uh, was helpful for you you know if you like this video please click thumbs up and uh, you know do share it in your groups and subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe icon right here thanks for watching and have a good day bye bye